my peeps. We are going to the vet, Miss Davida and I, as you can see her in the back seat. She doesn't quite know we're going to the vet yet. She does not like the vet. She growls at him. She likes his, the female tech. So they usually have to um, take her in the back, put a muzzle on her and take her in the back. And the vet seems to think it's because she's protective of me and she thinks she's she needs to protect me from the vet. He said he sees a lot in the cattle dogs, you know, those, um, so we're going to the vet. I have her, I can't say it out loud because she knows the word, but I'm going to spell it. I have two of her tennis B-A-L-L-S's in my purse so that when we get to the vet, she's, I'm going to give her one so she can carry it with her. Maybe that'll calm her down a little bit. She loves her B A L L S. -s. The um, vet I go to is a, of course it's a local vet, but they're actually a hospital. Um, not an ER hospital, but a hospital and they do all kinds of surgeries and stuff there. Found them when I first moved to this area and liked him and st stuck with him. I didn't like the ER animal hospital here at first because I thought they were, I didn't like the, their practices, but I, that was until I understood their policy. And now since I understand how they work, it's like, okay, I'm not so upset now. <laughs> And the uh, ER animal clinic is just with the walking distance from the house practically, like half a mile. Yeah, people, I'm going slow. I'm an old lady. <laughs> I do not drive fast. I used to drive fast. I don't drive fast anymore. I actually broke myself of it. I, there's smoke up there. Oh, wow, they've cleared that out. I wonder what they're going to build there. I don't know if I like this. Dallas Fort Worth is starting to move move out to where I am. The the Dallas Metroplex. I moved away to get away from it, and I'll be darned if I feel like it's moving out here to where I am. <laughs> when I get by my land, it's gonna be out in the middle of the boonies. I ain't gotta worry about no one coming up any cities or anything building out toward me. No. I just might end up living in my camper forever. <laughs> and just move. I don't like I don't like the area I'm in. Pack everything up and drive my camper away. Who knows? I miss Davina. You wanna say hi to everybody? I got the AC on baby. Oops. Let me blow it back there for you. See, Mama, it's hot in here, huh? She's my pretty girl. Say, somebody left me all alone, me and my sister all alone out on a ranch and nobody lived out there. See, a passerby just happened to see, see us and pick us up and it happened to be a friend of my coworker. kept her sister and I took her I think the sister passed away didn't make it and they were both like five weeks old when she was five weeks old when I got her not old enough to be away from her mama and she was nothing but skin on her bones it was she was in awful shape she has health issues now not real bad but um, she does have a deformity in her um, airway that sometimes causes issues with her breathing and she freaks out and the more she freaks out about it the, the worse <laughs> the worse it gets 
So I try to keep stuff on hand to uh, help her relax. And of course, keeping her weight down. She's still a little overweight. I went to, last time we went to the vet, which was a little over a year ago, she was, he wanted her to lose 20 pounds. She was like 62 pounds overweight, like her mama. I've lost 20 pounds just since this accident. And still losing. Woohoo! But uh, you want her to lose 20 pounds, about 20 pounds. But it doesn't look like she had lost weight. But when I put her harness on her just a bit ago, I had to tighten it up. It's like, my golly, you have lost weight. We'll see how much weight she's lost. She's my baby. But over to the left is a cattle ranch. Left hand side of me is cattle. There's a college on the right. Oh, well, there's cows right there, but I didn't see it until it was too late. I didn't see it until it was way too late. There's a, a ranch, cattle ranch, right across the street from the, uh, from the vet. There's a ranch. That's ranches right across the street from the, uh, uh vet ground, because I'm almost there. Hi, pretty girl. There's a pretty girl. We're almost there. She's like... I think she's starting to realize where she's at. She does not like the bed. Hopefully there's nobody else in here. That way I don't have to wrestle with you. I, actually, she does pretty good with other animals. She just tends to stay away from them. She likes cats though. She'll get up in person with a cat much to the cat's dismay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna shut this off right now and come back when we're done in the vet's office. And we are back. She, uh, see Miss Tabita right there? She did very well at the vet. She let him come in and pet her and give her her shots and look at her teeth and eyes and ears. She did so good compared to the last time. She did very good. She got a good bill of health. She lost seven pounds and the vet checked her body. He said she's fine right where she is. Just plateau her right there. So she's doing good. $450 later. I got a balance on my account I'm not real happy about. I'm going to have to start paying it. Every every two weeks, I don't like having I don't like having bills under under my name. I don't like it, so I gotta pay that off. But but she did good. She's probably gonna go home and pass out. Oh, look at that pretty girl. You're such a good baby. I'm giving you a treat when we get home. Although you already got a treat. She took a ball in. And the vet tech was playing with her with her ball. I told the vet and the vet tech, I said, once she lets you, lets you into her circle, her circle, you're fine. And it wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't 30 seconds later they were going to take her out, out of the room to give her her shots and everything. She just got right up and walked out there. <laughs> she, and he was, he left the room and shut the door and come right back in. He says, she seems to be fine. <laughs> so they did the exam right there. And there's a train. I live about a block from the railroad tracks. And in 
order to get home, I have to go across the railroad tracks. If I would have taken the exit back there, I could have went under the railroad tracks, but I didn't know there was a train. Hopefully. Oh, and there's the end of it. I was just about ready to say hopefully it won't be very long. All kinds of graffiti all over the cars. Railroad cars. I think I'm going to eat me some soup. I made some homemade chicken noodle soup last week. I think I got two servings left. Oh, look at that pretty girl back there. Hi, Tavita. There's a baby girl. She was so good at the vet. I am so proud of my baby girl. She's the one that I always have to worry about at the vet because she's so picky on who she lets into her circle, but she did so good. I can't say enough praises about her. Cannot say enough praises about her. I am home. So, make sure I'm parked okay. Yeah, I am. So, I am going oh, to get on out of here. So, y'all, take care. She's ready to go in to see her sister and her brother. Y'all take care of Mama's, Mama Bear's going to get on out of here. Live. <laughs> Live fierce. Be happy. Stay safe. Bye.